In this video, we are gonna be looking at Adobe After Effects Content Fill Aware that they just added in their Adobe CC collection. So my favorite, absolute favorite tool in Photoshop is Content Aware. It lets me delete a lot of stuff. It lets me copy and clone things and it's my absolute favorite tool. So when I saw that they added that in After Effects, I was very excited and that's what we're looking at today. Now the first method we're gonna look at is just the automated version and, and later on I'll make another version with some manual tweaking as well. So why would you use content aware fill for video? There are a lot of times when I am trying to get a shot of a pretty building or a scenic something and then somebody just walks in right in front of it as I am recording videos, right? It happens all the time. I probably do it all the time as well when traveling and it's pretty annoying. Sometimes I wish people wouldn't be there. Now before you would have to use the software like Mocha Pro to make things easier for removing people out of your shots or removing things out of your shots like boom poles or microphones or just annoying people in front of your shots. But now Content Aware Fill should be able to help you out. Granted, this is not gonna be a solution for everything. It's brand new. It just came out for After Effects. It obviously needs a lot of work, but it should work for some applications on your projects or videos. So for this example we're looking at right now, this was shot with the Samsung S10. And what we're gonna try to do here is remove this little girl here on the shot. Now I haven't tested this prior, so I'm actually gonna see if I can do this with this new software. Now here in the EU, they are very uh, strict about their privacy. The European people are really strict with their privacy, so when shooting in EU, you really wanna be careful when you're shooting a video. You might have to blur people's faces because they really respect their privacy here. So the first thing we're gonna do is just click on the actual layer itself. I'm gonna zoom in here just by using the uh, scroll mouse button. I have this in half because I'm using my laptop and this is a 4K resolution file as you can see here. And what we're gonna do is just basically mask out the subject that we are trying to get rid of, all right? Now I don't usually make After Effects tutorials because I am not an After Effects expert, but this one, this is such a cool tool that I think everybody should know about this tool. So now that we have that, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the mask. You can do MM if you want. We're just gonna click none so I can see everything else. And what we're gonna do is actually, uh, we're gonna pretty much animate this for a couple of frames so that it's following the girl. Right, so we're gonna go there. That's a good path. We're gonna go towards the end. Ooh, oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and make my composition shorter. So we're gonna change this to 108 for now. So we don't have any leftovers. We're gonna go all the way to the end and we're just gonna follow that girl. So I'm gonna click and drag this mask all the way over here. And with keyframing, I learned this when using keyframings for lightsabers, it's always best to go backtrack in the middle just to make sure that your mask is following through. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we're just gonna go ahead and preview it. So starting from there, the mask is following, ooh, except for there. Let's go ahead and move that a little bit. Okay, it's following, following. Okay, that's good. Following the mask, man. It's weird. Her steps are like, it varies. <laughs> the footsteps are varying, which is crazy. So let's go right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and make this bigger because that back leg is coming out. Okay, that's pretty good. Now the only thing we have to do, as you can see already had open here, was if you go, let's go ahead and reset this so you can kind of see what we're working with here. If you go right here and you go to motion tracking, Content Aware Fill is actually right here. So for Alpha Expansion, we're just gonna go ahead and make that a 15 for now. You'll just have to tweak that. And then on the mask here, we're gonna say Subtract, all right? So that's what we're trying to fill, that hole. And the next thing we have to do is make sure this is Object, and then the whole entire work area. Like, oh gosh, laptop, man. Laptop life for you. not enough screen. Let's go ahead and drag it out. Oh, it clicked it already. So all you have to do is click this general fill and then it's uh, and then After Effects is gonna do its thing. Like I said earlier, this is all automated. 
If you do the create reference frame, you'll have to do some Photoshop tweaking and we'll talk about that later on. I'll find a good example for that as well. But for this one, this is straight from After Effects automated. We just did a couple of masks tweaking and animating, but this is After Effects doing its thing. And after that, fellas, so you're gonna see that there's a fill layer on top of that, which is basically the fill that After Effects created, pretty much copying pixels from other uh, areas of the image to see if they can get rid of that girl. Now it is harder for After Effects because there's a little bit of a frames here and there is a house here. I'm actually worried about that house. So let's go ahead and preview that. Oh my God. That's actually really sick. Like, like I said earlier, you could probably do a better job with animating, but you can see her shoes over here because like I said, her footsteps varied and I could have masked that a little bit better. So you can kind of see that. But if you, if you took time to actually mask her out completely, then you would get a better result. And I can tell you fellas, that looks pretty good with just a quick mask. Let's go ahead and uh, preview this. Click preview, play, and there you go. The little girl is gone. Obviously you'll see her shadows here, but like I said earlier, there's gonna be some limitations when using this new tool from After Effects. That is very exciting and that's all I got for you guys today. I will see you later.